Germany. How's retired life treating you? You're not really retired because weren't you in Germany racing or something? Yeah, I mean, I, don't tempt me with a good time. I mean, I'm not racing full time. I don't really have necessarily a plan right this second to do any racing, but I like to ride. I'm going to do a bunch of rides this week. Bill Poto, I'm good friends with him, and we're going to ride some this week at the track. So that should be fun. And uh, Will asked me to help him with his riding a little bit. So I've been pointing out a few things, and um, he's been improving every week. So it's, it's cool to see. He's a super nice kid. So if I can help at all, I'm stoked. So, uh, you know, I know that the announcement that you made on Instagram was, I think it was pretty sudden for a lot of people. I kind of knew you were thinking that way a little bit, but what led to your decision? Well, when I, when I first started my Team Mafia Moto Crew, I was thinking that, you know, I was going to spend some money and get some sponsors in there to make it sense financially. And, you know, for me, racing just Supercross made the most sense at my age and such. I feel like that's mostly my strong point at this point. But I've just had a lot of sponsors kind of fall through last minute. I was planning to race this year, but I couldn't really necessarily make sense of it. I mean, I understand that I can't race forever. I'm super realistic with that. I have a good time with it. I know that I still ride well, but if I can't, if I'm going to spend a lot of money at it, that doesn't make sense anymore. So, uh, yeah, it didn't make sense to race this year, unfortunately, but I know I can't race forever. Yeah. So, was it hard? Like, I know, I know you're realistic and everything, but like, emotionally, was it tough to uh, to make that call? Was it hard to hit post on that Instagram post? Yeah. I mean, to to come here and, and to watch is tough. And then I had a lot of effort into like coming back this year and being stronger than I was, which I finished last year getting much better towards the end, finishing top tens and winning semis and stuff that was, I felt like I was in the right direction. Learned a lot about my bike and did a lot of testing in the summer, a lot of training, a lot of different training that I knew that I needed to work on to help improve my riding overall. And then it just for it not really to, to come around, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's disappointing, but I mean, it's kind of, I think it's just mostly disappointing because I don't necessarily know life other than racing right like it's kind of i've done it since i was five years old and i've always yeah. seemed like i've always had the goal of be better for the next race or be prepared for the next race whether no matter when it is but yeah. um so, so it's tough that way but i also feel pretty confident that um you know i have a pretty decent skill set and I'm pretty well versed in all things with motocross racing, whether it's the business side of it, whether it's the training and riding aspect, whether it's setting up a bike. I have a lot I can offer to a, an industry sponsor or rider per se. Yeah. So if those avenues work out, then then I'll then I'll look into doing something like that. But in the meantime, I'm definitely gonna ride as much as I can and kind of have a good time. Yeah. After you uh, announced your retirement, were you kind of shocked by the? Uh, the flood of posts on the internet from people just congratulating you on a good career? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously after I announced it, I was pretty, it's kind of weighed off my chest a little bit because there's a lot of sponsors and such that were not necessarily like planning on me racing, but wanting to me to make a decision what my plan was. Because yeah. I did last thing I wanted to do was over promise, under deliver, tell people I'm gonna do all this stuff and hit the podium seven times or whatever, and then not fulfill on those you know claims. So it was a bit of a weight off my chest to kind of get some of these sponsors to uh, kind of saving out some budget for me to let them know, hey, I'm not racing. But yeah, it felt super good to hear all the positive feedback and people being appreciative of the time that I was racing and the time that I took for them, whether it was at a race or, you know, see them at the practice track, the grocery store, with racing getting as more popular, as popular as it is now, it's kind of like, you don't go much of anywhere without getting recognized, so I appreciate people being, being so positive and uh, giving me a lot of comments. So if you look back and you had to pick one really memorable race, Besides the one where you race the Trans World Motocross Honda 250, you know, but what what race stands out in your mind? I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's kind of stood out in my mind with racing. It seemed like I would always uh, perform best when the cards were down. You know, I spent a lot of time, you know, whether it was transitioning from one team to the next. I would say I started racing my professional career on the Pro Circuit team for, for multiple years. and. Uh, you know, winning 99 Millville was a huge thing for me, a huge step and kind of made me feel like I could accomplish some of these goals if I really set my mind to it. Uh, 
really with my family at Loretta's, being able to win there was a pretty exceptional feeling as well. Kind of validate all of the effort that you did, even though it's not at a professional level, it's still a pretty big deal, and especially coming from a small town and getting to that level, I felt pretty good about it. Yeah. Uh, racing in the 450 class, I was able to get some podiums and race with you know guys like Carmichael and Stewart and Chad Reed, all these guys when they were in their prime. So to be able to snake some podiums from those guys felt good for sure, and I, I felt like with uh, a little bit, some, a little bit more support here and there, and a little bit less injuries, kind of uh, holding me back some. I feel like I, I could have been able to overall achieve more of my goals, but at the same time, I learned a lot about life in general and have some great friends, and I definitely gave it my all. That's for sure. Cool. Hey, congrats on a great career. Thanks, man.